Hello, and welcome to Civil Engineering at Trinity. Today, we're going to give you an insight into what you might expect as a student in civil engineering, but also where you might end up as a graduate of civil engineering from Trinity. So firstly, what is civil engineering? Well, it's a very broad discipline. And later, we will show you the different research pillars that make up our teaching and learning and research activities within the department. These will inform and help develop you as a potential civil engineer. Civil engineers play a key role in the design and development of infrastructure, whether that's bridges through the design and construction phases. It may be water or wastewater treatment plants, as well as waste management facilities. Road and transport, in, transport infrastructure is central to the undertaking of civil engineers, as well as the construction and implementation of renewable energy systems. Our department has a strong focus on teaching and learning on our BAI, MAI and MSc programmes but it's also informed by leading international research by our academics and researchers. We have five main research pillars within the course, energy, environment, geotechnics, structures, and transport. And you're going to learn a little bit about each of these fields in terms of what we do in research and how that translates and informs our teaching. So how to develop uh, sustainable energy solutions is critical for future engineers. In the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering, we teach a range of modules in energy. That's from energy efficiency, energy demand, energy policy. We teach about all the sustainable energy technologies, for example, wind energy, ocean energy and hydropower. We teach about energy recovery from our water systems and then also energy from wastes. However, we do have considerable expertise in the wind energy uh, sector. Our wind energy team have been together for many years. They've pioneered research in the area of structural vibration control in wind turbines, both for onshore and offshore uh, turbines. They look at materials for um, building blades as well. Their current work focuses on modelling and controlling wake effects in wind farms and developing new offshore support structures for next generation wind turbines. So within that, all of that information is being fed into our teaching and this is really a, a research-led teaching program. Also within the uh, energy teams, we have a large group in uh, solar energy, uh, particularly focused on materials, application and also in thermal energy storage. We look towards uh, the collection of diffuse sunlight. In an Irish context, we have a large proportion of diffuse light and cloudy conditions. So how do we capture that light when it's coming in all directions? And we use luminescent materials for that and luminescent devices. Also, we look at how do we capture um, it efficiently within uh, these collector systems. We also look at the larger scale in terms of applications, both for photovoltaics in terms of electricity generation, but also in solar thermal for solar heat capture. And we uh, have a large uh, body of work in thermal energy storage. So this feeds into our uh, master's programs and also into our, our undergraduate uh, teaching programs as well through the area of storage, solar, and then of course, passive solar, which is in our building energy uh, design and energy efficiency. Consideration of the environment has been a large part of civil engineering for many years. And the environment is one of the themes of the civil engineering departments, teaching and research activities, and those are divided among um, environmental protection of the water cycle and also environmental protection of uh, the, our air. So um, our, our, those activities in terms of research are often split and, and we have an air quality research group which has been active in the field of air pollution research for over 20 years. Students in the department you know, get hands-on experience of air quality measurement monitoring and data analysis um, of, of using various different techniques, targeting different pollutants. 
Um, students are also introduced to various analytical and uh, modeling techniques. You can see on the right here images of, of, of various air pollution models in two dimensions and uh, three dimensions and monitoring data and so on. Um, a large part of our research is around the development of technological solutions to uh, management of air quality. Um, we, we also look quite a lot at um, policy solutions as well and students are involved in that research activity particularly in their later years uh, uh, through final year projects. On the water cycle side, um, we also have a very experienced uh, group of, of uh, academics and researchers involved in water and wastewater uh, research. And um, again, students from a, from a teaching perspective get hands-on experience of this um, from the point of view of, of water treatment technologies, of wastewater treatment technologies, of the uh, migration and pathways of pollutants through the environment. Um, of modeling those um, processes numerically, as again as seen on the left here, examples of models of uh, water pollution. And we also do quite a lot of field work um, monitoring pollution um, in the field. And also we examine a lot the connection between water and energy, uh, where the process of water supply and, and water treatment from a pollution point of view consumes a lot of energy and often many forms of, um, of energy themselves require uh, water to, to produce that energy. Geotechnics is a branch of civil engineering concerned with the engineering behaviour of Earth's materials. What we do essentially is try and study uh, the mechanical behaviour of soils and rocks. And we try and understand how the strength and stiffness of different types of materials um, affect structures that we, we build on. So for example, uh, we would Geotechnical engineers are involved in the design of foundations, so uh, shallow and, and deep foundations. Uh, for example, tunnels, retaining walls, basements, uh, stability of slopes and earthworks. So anything related to uh, soil behaviour um, and the engineering properties of that is what we study in geotechnics. So in our undergraduate curriculum, we have two modules related to uh, geotechnics. The first one is in third year and it's called soil mechanics. And in this module, we will learn how to describe and classify soils to, in order to better understand the material behavior. Um, we need to determine what is required from a site investigation. Uh, we need to calculate the stresses in the soil. So we work out methods to calculate the stresses acting on the soil in order to quantify its behavior. Uh, and we also learn uh, the different types of testing you can perform in a lab, which are suitable for different soil types. And this will inform an engineer as to what sort of foundations or what sort of structures are required. In our fourth year module, we have geotechnical engineering. Um, in this, we determine uh, which foundations are suitable for different situations. Um, we look at how we design a foundation. So the example here shown is a picture of a shallow foundation uh, for a large building. Um, so we learn how to design what size they need to be, how to calculate the bearing capacity, the strength of the soil underneath the foundation, and also how much the settlement uh, will occur for a given load. The large structures will apply a big load onto the foundation, so we need to work out how much movement will occur. Um, we'll also look at stability of slopes. So um, with climate change, uh, the stability of slopes is now a, a very important issue as we're getting more and more failures. Um, so this is a really important issue and we learn how to calculate um, the stability of these using uh, the soil strength and soil material behavior. So for those of you interested in doing master's level courses, um, in fifth year we have uh, advanced geotechnical engineering and also offshore geotechnical engineering, which are two separate modules. Um, in these we learn how to apply advanced uh, models first for quantifying the behavior of soil. Um, we look at uh, piled foundations. So the picture here is a, uh, the top left is a picture of a monopile used for offshore wind turbines. So, um, we learn how to design these structures, we learn how to perform calculations in, using computer models. So the picture in the top right is what's known as a finite element model. Um, we also talk about recent testing that's undertaken. So the picture in the bottom left, left is some research tests that I was involved in um, in France related to the stability of monopile foundations for offshore wind turbines. Um, and generally we learn how more advanced models from our previous third and fourth year modules. 
Structural engineering is perhaps the most recognisable specialism within civil engineering. It concerns the design and construction of buildings, bridges and other structures. The types of buildings that structural engineers are involved in designing include high-rise buildings for accommodation, um, office buildings or buildings for retail, hospitals, universities, factories, concert halls, uh, bridges for road and rail transport and other structures associated with transport, uh, structures for airports, for ferry terminals and structures associated with infrastructure, so water towers or water treatment plants, uh, dams, tidal barriers and also uh, sporting facilities like stadia. Structural engineering is about design. It's about the creative use of maths and physics to model the behavior of a structure and to use knowledge about the way in which um, materials behave under load to predict how a structure will behave when it's subject to wind loading or an earthquake or some sort of dynamic impact. Of course, once a structure has been designed, it has to be constructed and actually realizing a structure, making a, a design, turning it into a physical reality also involves just as many calculations and often a good deal more ingenuity than at the design stage. The behavior of materials while you're actually constructing a structure is, is just as important. And of course, you also have to consider the management of the whole project, how you get materials, labor, um, all working together to produce a finished product safely um, and on time and on budget and without uh, having a negative effect on the environment. Trinity College has a focus on research-led teaching. So the research that's carried out by staff that sort of is brought into the actual lecture material that's presented and also into the sort of lab work and experimental work that, that students do uh, both as uh, sort of undergraduates and particularly in their final year when many students will do uh, final year research theses in, in the structures lab in college. So like all areas of civil engineering, structural engineers end up changing the world in which we live, hopefully for the better. And certainly as a structural engineer, you leave a physical legacy behind you. So if you fancy a challenge and enjoy maths, physics and problem solving, civil engineering and maybe particularly structural engineering may be for you. Transport has been one of the key areas of research and education in the Department of Civil Structural and Environmental Engineering in the School of Engineering at TCD. Transport as such is a key area of global research uh, considering its economic, environmental, health and uh, climate change impacts. So globally we are working towards providing sustainable solutions for mobility and in the School of Engineering in Trinity College we have worked on it for um, more than 30 years at this stage in providing innovative and sustainable solutions for Ireland and then um, for the international and global needs. The work that is carried out in transportation research is of two directions. The first one is um, education. We deliver the oldest uh, master's program in transportation, which is targeted towards um, engineers and scientists, essentially people with engineering and science, um, bachelor degrees can um, enlist or undertake this master's program to develop their specialization and expertise in the area of transportation. The two key research groups which works at providing innovative solutions in um, the department are TRIP and QUANT. The Center of Transport Research and Innovation, which is TRIP, is a multidisciplinary center aiming at solving problems such as urban congestion, improving the quality of life and mobility of people, and working on the areas of safety and environmental impacts of transport. Whereas the QUANT group um, works on bridging uh, computer algorithms and civil engineering systems. 
It focuses primarily on traffic and environmental systems, and it combines mathematical and physical models with artificial intelligence utilizing real-world data that has been collected through a bunch of sensors. Transportation um, in the School of Engineering, especially in the Department of Civil Engineering, has undertaken a large number of projects, more than 20 projects, which ranges from industrial to European and national projects. And uh, the research facilities that are available in the department are world class. Uh, we have the most advanced up to date um, simulation softwares that are necessary for simulating uh, transport network systems, um, advanced computation um, software such as uh, MATLAB, Python, etc. And we also have access to advanced. Um, instrumented facilities such as driving simulator, instrumented cars, automatic license plate detection cameras, and um, small scale mobile um, emission sensors, uh, advanced GPS detectors, different types of um, dash cameras for recording uh, autonomous vehicle uh, movement and so on. So I hope my colleagues have given you an insight into what we do. But if you come to Trinity and want to take the civil engineer's journey, where does it begin? Well, in first and second year, in the general stream, you get an opportunity and a flavor of different subjects of civil engineering. But it's really between third and fifth year that we really knuckle down and you get to specialize in those subjects, whether it's energy, environment, geotechnics or structures or even transport or perhaps you want to learn a little bit about everything and we'll provide that opportunity to you. We will reward students who work hard through annual um, prizes but also we'll make sure that as a class, as a group, you bond with one another through college trips to see civil engineering in reality and we'll work through as you, your studies, you will also attain a placement, work for a company, and in your final year and final semester, really, you'll knuckle down and submit your final dissertation. This will really help you specialise in an area of your choice, and those areas would align with the five research pillars that my colleagues have presented. So thank you for your attention. If you want, wish to find out more about our department and civil engineering at Trinity, visit our website, tcd.ie forward slash civileng, or email us at civileng at tcd.ie. But you can also find details of myself and all our colleagues on the staff pages of our department. We wish you the best of luck in choosing your career. And you're very welcome to join us in civil engineering at Trinity.